internet, so Vlogmas Day 18, and not that much is happening today that I can show you because we are going to a Christmas party later on. I'm just in the process of getting ready, so I thought I would listen to your requests in the comments in my past Vlogmas videos and do an apartment tour and that that would be just kind of a fun thing to do today. So other than my food, that's really all I have to show you and of course my outfit. So today's outfit is a repeat. I did warn you guys some of them would be repeats because I only have one suitcase. Um, so this is my little BCBG stripey maxi dress again. It's the one that has the high-low skirt basically to it. So it's got that stripey nautical style and today I decided to look festive and pair it with my red Aurora necklace and some red lipstick from YSL as well um, so that that ties well together. And I also did my nails. I decided to do French glitter tips on red and I think I'm wearing some different shoes than last time you saw the dress. I'm wearing my wedges from Duo um, that I thought looked nice. So that is it for today's simple outfit and I'll give you a little tour a little bit later. This is what I woke up to this morning. Tarzan. <laughs> so impressive. I'm terrified of heights by the way you guys. So you guys will be pretty familiar with this outdoor area because it's mainly where I've been filming. I really like to use natural lighting when I can and this is also where I've been spending most of my time as well during my stay here because it's just so sunny and breezy and beautiful out here. It's kind of a semi-enclosed patio so you can see it has a roof um, so you won't get sunburned out here and I'm not a big tanner so this is just such a comfy place for me to sit out with my laptop, get some work done for Precious Rock read a book, magazine, whatever floats my boat. So there's this little kind of living room area and you can see there's the rabid ducks over there. They have weird, crazy expressions and there are animals like this spread throughout the apartment. I actually look that crazy on camera. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, at dusk, they look a little more evil. And then there's the beautiful view. So we basically have a view over the garden of our apartment complex. The ocean is over there, but you almost really can't, can't see it at all through the palm trees. But I just love basically this lush rainforest. So that is what I see every day. And the sun, sun is coming out for this video, which is really nice. It's been kind of a bit more overcast today. And then another one of my favorite places to sit, if I can sort of get out of the glare, is this little area with lounge chairs. It's just really nice to read a book here. The only problem is I seem to have a real tendency to fall asleep here. It's kind of on the warmer side of the chairs, and so this is where I take all my naps, basically. And through there is my room. We'll be going there shortly. And a little dining area that I often have lunch or breakfast at. So then over here is the formal dining area, which is really nice. I actually really love this chandelier. And there's a random bowl of balls on the table. I don't really understand why. At first I thought they might be potpourri, but they're not. Um, so I guess they're just supposed to be decorative. And you can see me in the mirror over there. Aloha. And yeah, let's go into the kitchen now because that just seems to make sense. So this is the kitchen. It's nothing too exciting, but I do like their cabinetry. We have some goldfish pretzels and macadamia nuts. Those are my favorite wine snacks, basically. And if you're wondering why everything is in a Ziploc, um, whenever I might show you the kitchen, it's because of insects. Hawaii has a lot of insects, so you don't want to leave food lying around. In fact, um, I've uncovered the pineapple to show it to you here because I think it looks cool and I'll be having it for breakfast tomorrow. But I'm basically going to put a towel back on top just to kind of protect it um, because there are a lot of um, friends with many legs and wings also living here so um, yeah and then there's the rest of the kitchen it's noisy right now because I'm washing my workout gear I didn't bring a lot of it with so it's a necessary evil and I will show you the other view of the kitchen 
And then if we exit through here, here is the living room area. So I've shown you guys our little Christmas tree before. It is still up with presents piling up. I still have 100% of my wrapping to do. Um, so I need to get on that at some point. Then we have our Bath and Body Works candle that smells really festive. I have my nail polish lineup. My mom was really amused by this. But this is basically all the nail polish that I brought with me on the trip. These are my latest creation with the glitter French tips. And I use this one from Formula X in flashy. And then the Hubba Hubba glitter, silver glitter to do French tips. And I'm really, really happy with the way they turned out and in case you're wondering why I have only Formula X nail polishes with me it's because I just don't like to do my nails too often when I'm on vacation and a manicure using these um, lasts about twice as long as regular nail polish so yeah then there's the living room area I edit my videos on that couch every single night of my stay here I've been really good at uploading on time all of my vlogmas videos upload overnight for breakfast for you guys basically because the internet here is slow so it just kind of uploads while I'm sleeping. Then I have my laptop with my Marc Jacobs cover, still in love with that. And yeah, you can see there are more random little animals strewn around. There's an elephant, a pile of books and magazines and chocolates and candles, second couch, that's my mom's handbag. Then here is the hallway. And over to the left is my room. So over here I have my bag display. And to me this is prettier than a Christmas tree. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Um, so I have my Rebecca Minkoff that I brought with me. This is a newer bag of mine. And it's got studding, which I love. I'm still really into that trend. And I love anything metallic. And then it's my new bag, which is my Michael Kors gray bag. It's the Hamilton style with rose gold. So I'm in love with this. But I have not pulled it out to use it yet just because um, it just feels a little bit large and heavy to carry around Hawaii and to do, you know, nothing <laughs> formal in particular. Um, so then there's this little dresser. I really like this. I actually really like the decor of my room in general here. I just have a little tray with jewelry and then a little um, Radisson Seven Seas jewelry kit or jewelry box that I got um, on a cruise we went on a long time ago. And then there's my bedding. I'm not really sure where this bedding is from because, again, we're renting. But I really like the print of it and the red. I really like red. So, yeah, there's some storage over there. Then there's this weird desk with an exercise ball that kind of ruins the decor of this room. Um, but whatever. It's not too annoying. In fact, it's actually quite a handy large nightstand. I have Maze Runner here that I'm reading now. This is probably kind of gross to you guys, but these are my retainers. Every single morning, I make my bed and then wash my retainers and my teeth, of course. Um, but that's like the first thing that I do in the morning to make sure that I will wear them again at night because otherwise I forget, which is really bad. So those are clean and ready to go for tonight. And then I have Strivectin cream, which is odd to you guys probably because that's actually made for stretch marks but it is an amazing hand cream really amazing it is expensive but I tend to get it on sale at outlets and a tube lasts a long time since I'm just using a dab on my hands every night and it really prevents them from getting cracked and dry um, I didn't show you guys this, but I actually got some little socks from Bath & Body Works, and then I have a pile of already read books. I have my little makeup corner. I know a few of you guys have requested a Get Ready With Me video, and if you would like to see that, then let me know. I would love to do that while I'm here, as long as you guys don't like realize that I don't have a lot of proper filming equipment, so it will be a really casual kind of let's get ready together video. I would be into that. That would be fun. So if we exit this way, I have my bathroom, which I like. The wallpaper's a little gaudy, but pretty. It's got rose gold in it. Um, I actually do like it. And then there's my little sink area with just basics. I got that new toothbrush. It's a Sonicare. I'm really liking it so far. And my 3D white strips, so I don't forget to use those. Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. I got a whole tub of that for my stay here because I use a lot of it. And then this is like a Hawaiian product for bronzing. And I don't really use it for that purpose, but it gives a really nice shine to your legs. So I always buy a tube when I'm here. But the only problem is, is that this one is broken. So I have to return it because it's basically like leaking out onto the sink and it looks really disgusting. 
And then if we continue, then there's my mom's master suite. I come hang out with her sometimes in here. It's really nice. Um, so there's a TV in here, and it's pretty much all beige decor except for this very Hawaiian, I guess, um, painting. And yeah, there I am again. And if we go this way, there's another Hawaiian painting and another mirror. And I actually do my hair here just because it's a really nice handy setup and I can use my mom's hair products and stuff that way too, sneakily. And she's actually using the new Conair Infinity Curling Contraption and really liking it. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. And then there's the rest of her sink and her mirror. And so that is pretty much it for this apartment tour. I hope you guys found it fun and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Here is my lunch. So I have some sauteed kale and spinach that has some garlic in it. So basically I um, fried the garlic up in a little bit of oil and then steamed the kale and spinach. And the reason I did that instead of eating my tuna over a normal salad is because I actually really don't like raw kale. I've really tried to like it, but I just don't. Um, so I made my own little creation and on top I have some ahi tuna that I've cut up that I bought from Whole Foods yesterday. And if it's looking a little bit beige at the edges, that's because I poured some lemon juice just right before serving it on top of it. And what that actually does is it starts to cook it. Um, but because I'm going to eat it fast, it will just really give it a nice fresh flavor because I love citrus flavors with fish. And then I have a little dipping sauce going on here with a little mustard, some balsamic vinegar, and some soy sauce. And that is my lunch. We are just just about to head off for the party but I wanted to leave you guys with this really pretty sunset shot it's kind of hard to see the sunset from where we are but I just thought the colors in the sky were so so pretty so I hope you guys like this slightly different video with the apartment tour and everything and I will see you tomorrow bye